Well, this is the tax-free weekend here in Massachusetts when cons uh, consumers don't have to pay the six and a half or six and a quarter percent of the state sales tax that they would normally be charged. And on big ticket items, that can mean some pretty nice savings while retailers see a spike in sales. WBZ's Paul Burton heard those registers ring. What do you think? The signs are everywhere reminding shoppers don't sleep on the tax-free weekend. Time for a new washer and dryer, maybe a microwave. Every bit helps. At Jordan's Furniture, the Murray family is finding comfort in knowing they are saving a few dollars. We came to get a mattress today at Jordan's. We're going home happy. And retailers also happily welcome the two-day 6.25% sales tax break. Shoppers can save cash on items like furniture, appliances, games, and computers. Today's going to be very busy. This whole weekend, we'll have thousands of people that come through the door today and thousands that will come through the door tomorrow. It, it gets people in here that wouldn't normally, you know, come out and shop on a day like this. Maybe they might order online. The Home Depot parking lot in Natick was packed with shoppers. Tools and appliances are huge ticket items here. Um, well, I'm looking at the microwave and I'm looking at the washers and dryers. Leah Churchill's cart is already full, but she's not done. We're a family of five, and so wherever we can stretch our dollar, that's what it's about. The tax-free weekend falls in perfect line with kids getting ready to go back to school, which means families are focusing on their children, everything from computers to dorm rooms. You could say between, you know, all the way up to about $120, $130 on a day like this, um, you know, depending on the item. Alan Ding is on his way to Yale. I picked up an iPad Pro. I also got a laptop I'm going to get shipped to my house. You know, I waited for tax-free weekend for this. I think it's great. The sales tax-free weekend will come to a close on Sunday. In Natick, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.